hi everyone i hope all of you are doing well i'm back again with another amazing tutorial and this is shubham pramanik from motionregs.com so with that said let's begin all right so let's start with creating a background so press ctrl y to create a background and i'm going to select this color okay and now i'm going to type in our text so let's type in and for the font i'm going to use go bold and let's increase the text size and place it over here so i'll go to the animate option and now let's select position and add opacity to that okay now let's make this opacity zero and position it to the left just like this okay and after that go to range selector create a keyframe on the offset value and move around one second and make it 100 okay so if you preview now you can see that it is animating like this and i'm not liking this at all so for that what i'll do i'll go to advance and there i'm going to change based on from character to lines okay now let's select these two keyframes and easy ease those properly and let's see okay looks good but go to the graph editor and make sure that you are on the speed graph okay and here i'm going to adjust the graph like this so i want the speed to be fast at the beginning okay just like that yes it is looking better all right so now let's close this one and close this layer as well and lock it okay after that here you can see that i have provided all of the assets that you required okay and now i'm going to bring all of the assets like this and let's scale it down and position it so i'm just fast forwarding this thing and you can do it whatever you want as per your liking as well okay and now i'm going to animate all of them press alt shift and p to create a keyframe on the position property and now let's drag this keyframe around one second just like this and now i'm going to drag all of them upwards just like that we can bring all of those keyframes at frame zero and now let's ramp it and let's see yeah better now let's do one thing uh, let's move around 10 frames forward so i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames and after that i'll select all of the layers again and i'll press on this diamond button so it will create a same keyframe over here as well okay let's press alt shift and r as well to create a keyframe on the rotation property and press k to move forward to the next keyframe and there i'm going to add a little bit of rotation to this layer so just a touch like this okay and then select all of the layers and just drag the position property a little bit downwards just like that now go to around two seconds and just drag all of them outside of the frame just like this okay Control a i'll press u to close them up and now i'm going to select all of them again and i'll press p to reveal the position keyframes only okay press f9 to easy ease those and go to the graph editor so here we can notice that some kind of glitch is happening over here right so let's fix that first so what i'll do i'll just select these two keyframe i'll press right click and then go to keyframe interpolation and then set it to linear okay now here you can see that the glitch is not happening anymore and it is perfectly working now close this graph editor and now select this set of keyframes and just drag this handle like this okay let's set it 20 and let's mix this 180 all right now let's ramp it and let's see so after that we have to 
check that all of the layers are positioned properly or not so the bottom one should be at the bottom okay after that this one then this one this one is perfect now let's check with this one okay and now this one i think this one will be over here and this thing this one is perfect and this one is also perfect now just offset these layers by one or two frame and it will be good to go let's do it quickly and now ramp preview it and let's see perfect and here we are going to build our second scene now let's put watermelon image over here and now press alt shift p and r to set a keyframe on the position and rotation properties and just move these keyframes a few frames forward like this and now place this position keyframe a few frames forward and this one just like this and set the rotation a little bit like this now let's ramp preview it looking fine okay one more thing when this uh, pieces of the watermelon moves away from the frame we have to move our text layer as well so i'll press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position and around here i'm going to make it outside of the frame just like this all right so it is moving and this one is coming fine okay looking good now let's select the text tool and type in something now you can see that this is not wrapping up um, around our watermelon so i have to create a mask on the text layer so for that i'll select the ellipse tool and i'll create a mask like this around the size of our watermelon now i go to text and there i'll go to path option and i'll select the path from none to mask one here you can see that now the text is following our mask path and here i'm going to reverse the path so that we can position it on the upward and now just align it so i'll change the first margin value and here you can see that it is following the mask path and now let's animate this text layer as well so i'll go to animate i'll select position i'll select opacity i'll make this one zero and i'll press it like this i'll go to range selector offset set a keyframe on that and go to few frames forward and make it 100 looking nice okay now after that select this layer again and i'll press u and there i'm going to set a keyframe on the position and rotation and then i'll go around four seconds and there i'm going to make the position on the left side just like this and i'm going to give it a rotation of something like that now let's see how it is looking so it will change the position okay looking nice all right after that let's select the mask path and set a keyframe over here now when it is moving there i'm going to drag it like this so we are going to position it over here and after that what i'll do i'll select the text layer i'll press ctrl f and just type in margin and set a keyframe on the first margin value and now go to few frames forward and drag it like this okay now press u to reveal all of the keyframes and this one as well and just drag the first margin keyframes a few frames forward like this all right looking nice now what i'll do i'll just duplicate this text layer by pressing ctrl d and there i'm going to type in something like uh, amazing and after that when it is transforming i'm going to cut the first text layer and start this text layer from here only okay now let's see 
amazing. After that, let's build our third scene. So for that, I'll select the text layer and this layer as well. I'll press Ctrl Shift P to set a keyframe on the position and then I'll press Ctrl Shift right arrow key to move forward 10 frames and now I'll just drag them outside of the frame. Okay, so it will move outside just like that. And there we are going to introduce our third scene. So for that, I'm going to create a new composition and name is our third scene so that we can work freely. Drag and drop the package, scale it a little bit like this, rotate it just like this a little bit. Now press Alt Shift S and Alt Shift P to set a keyframe on the scale and position. Now go to around one second, drag this scale keyframe over here and make it zero over here and this one as well and just drag this one here okay so it will reveal like this now here you can see that it is not looking good at all so we are going to add something called overshoot for this and this kind of thing makes your animations more professional so for that what i'll do i'll go one or two frames backward and there I'm going to make the scale property 130 and just copy this one paste it over here and drag it like this a little bit and after that what I'll do I'll select all of the keyframes F9 and now let's see okay and after that I'm going to use an expression that I'll give it to you in the description as well so use that select the position i'll press alt and left click and after that i'm going to paste that expression over here similarly i'll copy that copy expression only and i'll paste that expression over here okay and after that make this end keyframes normal one okay now let's see here you can see that it is adding some sort of bounce if you want you can increase the bounce as well so i'll change the amplitude to 10 and frequency to 3 now let's see here you can see all right looking nice now after that what i'll do i'll just uh, use these images as well let me do that quickly for you and i'm fast forwarding the scene And here you can see that I have provided a watermelon art as well and it is in black so I'll add a fill effect to make it white select the color as white okay here you can see now position it properly as well I'll scale it down so I'll select the paint tool I'll set the stroke value to 15 okay and just create some art just like this All right, so it is looking like this and after that I'm going to close all of the layers by pressing U and now let's select all of this and around here I'm going to animate okay so I'll just drag them over here and I'll press alt shift and S to set a keyframe on the scale now move them forward a little bit and make them zero just like that let's add a little bit of bounce as well so I'll select all of the layers and I'll go a few frames forward and I'll increase the size of them okay so it'll bounce like this okay so what I'll do I'll just offset them a little bit like this Now let's improve it looking fine select all of the art layer i'll drag them over here and let's animate this one first so i'll select that i'll go to add option and there i'll add a trim path i'll set a keyframe on the end value drag that keyframe few frames forward and make it zero 
so it will animate like this here you can notice it is animating okay copy the stream path by pressing ctrl c and i'll paste in all of them okay now let's ramp with it fine now after that i'll go to the main comp and there i'm going to drag that third scene okay over our marker three position just like this let's type in sip on and i'm going to add a text effect that i have already saved and it is a preset that i have made for myself if you don't know how to make this one let me know i'll create a separate video for this as well so just add that okay and here you can see and i hope you have learned something new from this video please practice and follow along with me let me know if you have any queries in the comments i am always available and i reply to all of the comments as well so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye